All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 minus 25 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite 25 here as 5 squared. So now I have x to the power of 4 minus 5 squared is equal to 0. Now x to the power of 4, that's the same thing as x to the power of 2 times 2. So I have x to the power of 2 times 2 minus 5 squared is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, I can write as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 5 squared is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, I have a is equal to x squared and b is equal to 5. So now I have x squared plus 5 times x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 5 is equal to 0. And I have x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So let's first start with x squared minus 5 equals 0. So to solve this, I'm going to start by adding 5 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I have x squared is equal to 5. Now to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So the square root of x squared, that's obviously x, and I have x is equal to positive or negative square root of 5. So this, these are two solutions to this problem. Now I have x squared plus 5 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to subtract 5 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I have x squared is equal to negative 5. Now if I take the square root on both sides, I get the square root of x squared is equal to square root of negative 5. And the square root of x squared, that's x. The square root of negative 5, I can write this as the square root of 5 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is actually equal to the magic number i. So I have x is equal to positive or negative square root of 5i. So these are my four solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have x squared minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 squared. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting x minus 1 squared on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x squared minus 1 minus x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. Now, x squared minus 1, I can rewrite as x squared minus 1 squared, because 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So now I have x squared minus 1 squared minus x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. And I just put this in parentheses to make it easier to look at. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, I have x squared minus 1 squared, and in this case, a is x squared, and b is 1. So I have, or sorry, a is x, and b is 1. So I have x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now I have this minus x minus 1 times x minus 1, because it's the same thing as x minus 1 squared. And now this is equal to 0. Now, if I factor out x minus 1, I get x minus 1 times x, mi x plus 1 times x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is simply x plus 1. Now, I have this minus x minus 1 times x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is simply x minus 1. This is equal to 0. Now, this is equal to x minus, minus 1 times x plus 1 
minus x plus 1 is equal to 0, which is equal to x minus 1 times x and negative x cancel out, so all I'm left with is 2 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I'm going to distribute 2. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So I have 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now if I add 2 on both sides, I get 2x is equal to 2, meaning x is equal to 1. So now to check, my equation was x squared minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 squared. So x squared minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 squared. x is equal to 1, so I have 1 minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 squared. 1 minus 1 is 0, and 1 minus 1 squared is 0 squared, which is 0. So this is right, meaning my solution is right. All right, so in this problem, I have x plus x is equal to x times x. So to start off, x plus x, this is simply equal to 2x. And x times x, that's equal to x squared. So I have 2x is equal to x squared. Now, I'm going to go ahead and subtract x squared on both sides. So now I have 2x minus x squared is equal to x squared minus x squared. Well, x squared minus x squared, these two cancel out. So now I have 2x minus x squared is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to factor out x. So now I have x times 2x minus x squared is equal to 0. Sorry, 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So this actually gives me two equations. I have x is equal to 0, and I have 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So for x equals 0, this is already a solution right here. And 2x minus 1 equals 0. All I have to do is add 1 on both sides. And I get 2x is equal to 1. So to solve this, I divide by 2 on both sides. And I get x is equal to 1 half. Now another way, over here, instead of factoring out x, I can also multiply both sides by 1 over x. So now I have 1 over x times 2x minus x squared is equal to 1 over x times 0. Now, 2x times 1 over x is simply 2, and x squared times 1 over x is x. So I have 2 minus x is equal to 0. Now, if I add x, I get x is equal to 2. So this is another solution I get from this. So an even simpler way is when I have this, I get 2x is equal to x squared. Now if I divide both sides by x, I get 2 is equal to x. So that's another simple way of getting the value of 2. So that is my answer.